back. Hey Sorry, fellas. Here you go. We're, we're on the, the couch cast. Is this us? Welcome to the 39th episode of the Turk Coast Podcast. What episode is this? Way off. This 39th. is 37th. No, you're wrong. And I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Apparently. Okay, what is 36 it? 36 was wrong last time. Okay. 39th. It was think. supposed to be 39th. Should we all introduce ourselves? Should we do so. plugs right now? <laughs> all right, everybody, uh, plug your dates. <laughs> plug your plug dates. Your no, 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 before we start, actually, I just want to apologize to all the fans. Uh, when I mean all the fans, I mean all three of you guys. Uh, sorry <laughs> it took us two weeks to uh, put a cast out, but you know, whatever, dude. Fuck it's it. It's only been two weeks? Y'all yeah, been busy. So this right dude's getting married. Let's pretend that. Yeah, I just got a house and I'm getting married, so. Hell yeah. Let's pretend it was two weeks. Banana bread. <laughs> Nobody will ever remember. In the annals of history, it'll just say it came out like four years ago or something like but that. But we're here now, guys. Yep, and that's, here we that's are. That's what matters. We're here. Yep, and right? I have to be real still because this microphone sucks. <laughs> uh, welcome I to the 39th episode <laughs> of the podcast. Uh, everybody go around and yeah, ex- right, uh, introduce got, yourself uh, and also uh, Mikey, announce your dates. Mr. Mikey. Hi, guys. Um, I'm going to be at work on Monday <laughs> um, and then Tuesday probably at work, too. Me too. So we're at his house during the week. Yeah. Um, we have address? dogs. Yeah. It's at a... <laughs> Steal his dogs. I can give you my mom's address. <laughs> I haven't memorized mine yet. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Hey, Tom. Tom, say hi. You're so shy. Oh, we got Tom. Uh, I'm, I'm Tom. <laughs> hey. Hell yeah. Thanks for having me back on the cast, guys. Yeah, no, no, uh, no problem. Comedy. Comedy. <laughs> Comedy. Did you see? Him? Did you see Mark Norman? No, I got this from Mike. What? Uh, uh, I saw. I'm a uh, traitor. Uh, poser. I, I saw. I saw Mark Norman, and they didn't have my size, so I, I oh, bought so it and I gave it to Tom. Oh, you're such a sweet guy, dude. Yeah, dude, hey, that's me. Oh yeah. And I'm Xander. <laughs> the salad. We should be fighting over this all day. <laughs> I'm Matt G. The original OG of DP. No, I'm scared. Yeah. All right, dude. <laughs> Let's all penetration. flow for a little bit, right? Oh, you got bars? Come on. All right, yeah, all right, dude. Right. Hold on. I got right, this. Drop the beat. Ten bars in ten seconds. Go. Freestyle, Matt. <laughs> I don't know how to do shit. Yeah. Drop a beat, dude. Here, I got you. I can't freestyle. No, no, no. No, no, no fun. Come on, Matt. You no wished fun. you were black in high school. You got to be able to flow. No, that was like junior high. I used to love I used to love that fucking everybody in the club getting tips song. I used to love that. Yeah. Chingo bling. Still love it. <laughs> Never a fan. Wasn't that like Chingy or something? Chingy Ching- Ching- was in prison, end. isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think one of my brother's friends was his grandma was neighbors with Chingo Bling when all that shit oh, like what? the rapist stuff was going on. Oh, did, damn. did Chingo Bling rape your friend's grandma? Did she test? No, I think it was somebody else. SPM? But he woulda. <laughs> oh, he's also very Mexican. Yeah. Chingo Bling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He learned something new every day. Yeah. Well. Well, I well, that's been your hip hop history hour. Uh, I mean, sports. So what else is happening? Yeah, dude, let's go Texans. Eagles keep trading away all their picks. How's uh, dude, that feel? Nine times. Yeah, nine trades in the NFL draft. Hey, they got a good pull though. Yeah, dude. Happy for them. They got the first well, white corner. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm the Texans about. got all the best that's players great. in the draft this year. It was uh, wonderful. Go um, sports. Everything's great. Yeah, go sports. Go hey, sports. Astros. 12, 12, 3, 12, 2. Yeah, dude. All they We're to back, do baby. Go, Let's go. They just hey, needed to go back Colorado. to Mexico and then you know they could what? get a few I wins. I fucking hate when everyone's like, oh, the Astros are sucking. <laughs> nah, dude, we're back. We're it's giving everybody a head start, dude. Insane. Oh, nah, we're we giving sucking? everybody a, Now it's fair. You guys are ahead. Now are it's fair. Oh, are we guys? sucking after a decade of being the best team in baseball? <laughs> oh, are we Are we having a bad start to one season? Yeah, shut the fuck up. I mean, the only team that's been to less than 30 games. Yeah, yeah there's like what three hundred? Way, way less than thirty. How many teams well, have been to a consecutive ALCS other than us? Yeah, such fucking a day. one. No, nah, dude, it's just us. No, it's the fucking break. Haters. Yeah, In the American League, who else, dude? Yeah, not a soul, dude. Yeah, not, not a soul. The, the Sandlot. Yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, that's the right. Sandlot. I forgot. Yeah, the Sandlot. They got Benny the Jet. Benny. He he went to the ALCS several times. Mm. Several. He was yeah. with the Dodgers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll speak those. Los, here. Los Los Dodgers. Dodgers. Dude, all, hey, yeah. I think we can all agree that, that Joe Kelly can suck a fat dick. Yeah, obviously, dude. He wears glasses. Anybody yeah. who wears glasses Fucking can suck nerd. a dick. Fucking nerd. He wears goggles. I'll watch. I'll pay for glasses, it. Dude. He wears goggles, dude. Oh, shit. Like yeah, dude. Any kind of like, glasses like, wearing homo. Uh, don't, even, don't make me say it, dude. Don't make me say it. Dude. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not saying uh, gay glasses. How fallout many minutes are we in? Can I say it yet? Fallout series was dope. Yeah, you like yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, uh, how many game? minutes are we? I, I played every single one. You played all the fallout, fallout games? Fallout. I can't read. Oh, yeah. I'm playing Fallout 4 right now. I can't now. read numbers. Oh, yeah. just, just for the fuck of it, because they, they updated it. Yeah, yeah. the next chat. Yeah, dope. 
Yeah, I don't play Fallout. I played it a while ago. It's just it's repetitive. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's. I've like, been playing Fallout Shelter again. <laughs> oh, on the phone. On the phone, dude. Yeah. Yeah. My shelter's doing great. Oh yeah. We have like they have shelter's like <laughs> they have quests right now where yeah, you can get yeah. the girl from the show and the guy from the show. Nice. And, oh, it's, it's a lady really baseball good. player from oh, MLB yeah. the show. Oh, don't even get me started on. <laughs> you can, so they, no, no. So you can you can make your own baseball, character. Dude? Yeah, dude. You can make your own character for like your my you know person profile thing. And you can make a lady now with the vagina and boobs and everything. Dude, how do they even it's know what that tight. fucking looks like? I don't, I'm all for women's rights, dude. Guys, you guys know me. AI's getting I crazy. love women's rights. I'm, I'm like the biggest lover of women's rights. Obviously, but, but ladies can't hit a fastball and everybody but, knows it. God damn. Clint, you could have said it better than I did, dude. Because god Wait. damn it, I have never seen Wait a, a woman hit a 102 mile per hour no, fastball. Dude. Not dude. overhand, you haven't. Yeah. Pull it up. <laughs> Where's he at? Jamie, pull, pull it up real quick. Yeah. Put put it on the back. Yeah, we don't have a Jamie, dude. Easy. Nah, no Jamie. No, here. no, no. Sorry, dude. You're gonna it's have to pull that up on your phone and then <laughs> we send got, you the link later. We got Carlos, dude. Come on, Carlos. 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 Vamanos. Roll it. I'll be your Jamie. <laughs> All right. Go play on with the computer or whatever. So, uh, like we were talking about, Joe Rogan just interviewed Bart Sebe- Bart Simpson. <laughs> Hell yeah, Close. dude. Eat my shorts. But, uh, he was disputing the moon landings. Big, um, big. Okay, I read somewhere that somebody said that Stanley Kubrick directed it. His name is Bart Sibrel. Simpson. He has poke. He has pointy <laughs> hair. He skateboards. He's pretty rad. But is he Rick and Honestly, Morty? guys. Yeah. Honestly, this is a really good. This interview. is a good. Yeah, let's go around, okay, and, uh, guys. Do you guys think that we went to the moon? I honestly, obviously, obviously, don't believe so, dude. All right, wait. All right, everybody. Stop trying the room. to act like he didn't have anything to say about this. His mom is an astronaut. Let's just pull the moon. Yeah. Right. Uh, His pull like the room. We were, the, the, we were at the Johnson Space Center annual chili cookoff just a week ago with all of these nerds. Yeah, all right. I wasn't there. I wasn't invited. Yeah. Well, obviously, because all your fucking conspiracy <laughs> theories, dude. Why would we invite you to something <laughs> like this? I probably wouldn't have gone anyways. Yeah. yeah obviously. That's what the fuck is gravity? Yeah. All right. All right. The Earth is flat. Z- Xander, you don't think we went to the moon? I don't think so. All right, all right, Matt, guys, I don't know enough evidence about look, it. Look, I but what know. do you think? Did we go to the moon, dude? Fuck out. Okay, I, man I, up I'm, and take a stance, dude. We let's beat just, communism. Let's just find we out. We went to the goddamn moon. We went oh, to the moon, but we didn't go back then. Whenever we said we first did, but now I'm sure that we've gone there. But back dude, then, we first did. The no. reason I no. think we went to the moon, at least you know, in some ways, is uh, the Chinese. All right, the Chinese. Oh, of course. Of course. Separate Straight of the, the Americans, Don't even get me they started, they circled the moon, and when they circled the moon, they took pictures of the American landing site on the moon. Why would China back us up on this? I don't think I heard nothing about China in the interview. What? Oh, okay. How weird. Oh, How they left weird. out all the fucking pertinent information, did they? But, oh my god, that's crazy. I mean, if you want to debate them, go on Joe Rogan. Right, that's that's, that's my that's my thing. Tom, 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 what do you think? Dude? Yeah, your mom's an astronaut, dude. Tell us about space. <laughs> Call it right. We've a hundred percent. Your parents have both <laughs> been to the moon, correct? Space is space. No, they've not. We've a hundred percent been to the moon. Only his dad. Well, okay, if you can answer this space question. Space is fake. Okay. Why will we continue to fund NASA millions and trillions of dollars since the 60s to fake a lunar landing? True. To All fight right. aliens when they, well, when they come attack us. You can yeah. fund us. That's For great, Daddy Trump's space wars? What are you talking about? <laughs> they just kind of disappeared. It's weird. But why would they have all these people work at NASA at probably, what, three and or four different sites? Smokescreen. Obvious smokescreen. Government smokescreen, obviously. The sound of silence. No. Yeah, dude. Your mom's a well, I think I silence them. I listened, this, this I listened deep. to the beginning of this. Off. I listened to the beginning of this Joe Mom's Rogan podcast kook, for like though. a good hour, or maybe. Spook, that's right, right. I listened spook. to at least one third of this episode, dude. <laughs> and this guy, who I've never heard of before, but this guy definitely said that it's way easier than you'd think to lie to everybody. You know? Yeah, dude, I lied to What did he all say the time? something yeah, about, media. like, how. Um, I lied to my mom about stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> really good point, Clint. Yeah. Um, he was saying something about how like it's like you don't tell the owner of a company. The owner of the company doesn't tell the cashiers, you know, all the truth. It's that easy. Something yeah. along the lines of that, right? Come on, yeah. Xander, back me up on this, no, dude. So the so king doesn't so tell the peasants. It, it kind of goes back to um, like conspiracy theories, conspiracy theories in general. Well, so, oh yeah. So like the moon landing. 
Why Whoa. you why you put that shit in quotes, dog? You see that? Back up that's with the American point. flag so, USA, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's right. Everybody, stand up and salute, please. So, like, we're, we love to talk about. See my cell phone cover, bitch. So, <laughs> America. So tell me Pledge why. Why the United States of America? Do we have footage of the moon landing? Why do we have? Why one do we have nation If we traveled God, so, so so far, <laughs> it's liberty and justice for all. You cannot tell me all all of it went perfectly. <laughs> What's the Texas Pledge? <laughs> I can't think of it. it perfectly. <laughs> the stars are bright. Three stars. And yeah. so, and what really matters yeah. is the radiation. Not even now. They're they're not even sending There's real humans out though, into inner space. The radiation, though, right? And they're not even sending real humans out into space anymore. They're seeing mannequins because they can't even handle the radiation. Dude, you know they blocked the radiation from? back in the day. That podcast. Do so you believe one Led. podcast? I don't well, believe anything. Bring up a really good point, dude, about the radiation. No, they don't. Don't no, they block radiation. Lead. That's why they put on all over so you before they do uh, X-rays and stuff. Can stand so much radiation. Yeah. So apparently, by the time they get to the moon or what, leave the atmosphere of the Earth, the radiation is so intense that. That's why space is fake, guys. The radiation from, from Oh, God damn it, dude. You had it. You, you were doing so good. They were showing a video of... Uh, you know what was fucked up was that they were showing a video of... Um, it was a recording of what the astronauts oh, took. Uh, uh, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin. Neil Armstrong, all those Neil Armstrong, Neil Armstrong yeah. was recording where the Earth was, like, out of the window, right? And Oh, yeah, yeah. And he was showing the Earth, the size of the Earth, and... And during the podcast, they're showing a video of some other fucking lady who was explaining this video yeah. and saying that yeah. this wasn't accurate. Like, it's not to say, I don't, I don't, the way that I took it, it's like, it's not to say yeah, that they didn't go to the moon. But this one video specifically was real fucking sketchy. Yeah, I know which one, I know what one you're talking about. So they're looking out of the porthole and then you see the guy like put up. Like a, yeah, like a little, yeah. a small, like a circle. So it, yeah. when you look through it, it looks like you're further away from there. Right, than you were. right, 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 like right. Based on the timing of where they were. If they shot this video on this day, then there's no way they were that there's far no away. There's no way that they were that far away, right? But, and, I mean, all, it, it could have been as simple as, like, you know, a filter that helped focus, well, it could have been focus as, the earth from that distance. It literally could have been as simple as, like, um, it's 1969. Let's just yeah, 69. Yeah, 69. Hey, hey, guys, guys, you don't even know oh, what yeah, I just dude. said. Yeah, dude. We don't actually know what you um, said. But it could have been as simple as 69. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Dude, be serious. We're talking about the country. Yeah, I'm doing stuff with my fingers. Check it out. <laughs> it could have been as simple as that we can't take this video later. Let's just take this video right now, and it would be what we're seeing later. And our interpretation of what that's gonna look like. No, they're like, we dude, still let's just hang moon. out in space for a week and yeah, we exactly. just fuck with it. Low Earth orbit. No Lower. one will know. The you think difference. they were that was the original internet? Have, have you been to space? Have, you have been I to been to space? space? Bro, I've been space out before. And you haven't space as fuck. Have you literally been strapped to a rocket and shot to outer space? Not yet. So unless you've experienced it, you don't know. So, but unless you've experienced, you don't not know. Either. Right. Exactly. So I mean, you don't have unknown. to. You don't have to experience so something to, to manipulate know it. to the unknown is what a real call <laughs> <laughs> a mass. Let's take a call right now. Like if you want to control people by the masses, you manipulate something to create a big belief in it. A big belief, a big idea that oh yeah, we did this. Sure. Now now you have the control of everybody. Whether it's fake, whether it's real. I mean, I would. I mean, I believe the moon landing's real. I'm just being. Whatever. A right real now. dick. Yeah. <laughs> but either way, you gotta have that speculation. <laughs> like, like. There's a there's a very real possibility that the footage that we've seen of the moon landing, it's not, it's not really what happened, right? But I really want to believe that we went to the moon. Me too. No, we went to. I'm sure we've been there now. Though. It's yeah. like the atomic bombs, like those videos. Okay, well that's way different because well, a lot of people way, died. No, it's not different in the fact that they staged the videos, like. Uh, the videos of the bombs exploding, Going destroying off. houses. But yeah, that, that's different. That? Imagine, All right, let's get into that argument. Was it? It was. 
But even the Japanese then, deserve think it, right? About, um, yes. Uh, yeah, me and Tom, obviously. the technology. Now we're going to have to tap out on this <laughs> one scene <laughs> yeah. that we work for a hey, Japanese tell, company. Hey, like, so your boss deserved what we did to him. Back to him. We didn't have huh? you know, <laughs> the type of uh, CGI we have nowadays. <laughs> so as the, as the technology progresses, the images progress. So they start feeding us these images. Oh, this is how the Earth looks. Oh, this is how Saturn looks. Oh, this is how this looks. But, but you can reality, look through a telescope and see like Saturn. Right, Earth, you need a, a telescope to see all this stuff. What, what, is, what is a telescope, Xander? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see it. You gotta have a telescope. Guys, guys, we need a <laughs> toilet to take a shit. <laughs> you gotta see, have a telescope to see this space stuff. And who gives us those telescopes? <laughs> Government, damn right. <laughs> you guys ever driven a car? <laughs> Yeah, Hold on. Government issued telescopes, boy. I tell you what. By, you're by fucking. <laughs> you're turning into Dale Gribble, dude. You kill bugs for a living. All you talk about is goddamn conspiracy theories, dude. You just gotta go bald. He bro. loves hats. Completely. Hey, you're man. fucking straight, dude. I'm glad you caught along. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Do you love John Cena by chance? Dale Gribble. Who is Dale Gribble? King of the um, Hill. Well, that's the control guy from King Hell of the Hill. Hell yeah. He's yeah, you know, neighbor. King of the Hill? The guy that sort of sent I'm way younger cigarette. than you guys, remember? Dude, yeah, but so King good. of the Hill is like, no, the, I know it's the best show ever. Right, chill, dude. Was being funny. Listen, for a white man living in the South, in particular Texas, essentially, I grew up the same way Bobby Hill did. You know <laughs> what I mean? Where are they from, dude? Arlington. 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 <laughs> Which is not, doesn't, oh, where is that? No, it's, I, sorry, sorry. Tom fucked me when he said that. Dallas. Arlen, Texas, which does not yeah. actually exist. Arlington's real. <laughs> yeah, and Arlington's stupid, dude. <laughs> Do you remember when uh, the Rangers and the Astros were playing, not this most recent, but before that, in the playoffs? They were playing last night. Let's go, boys. Woo! Yeah, let's go. Anyways, um, and uh, fucking, what was his name, dude? Who was that one guy? Who was the fucking dude that talked all the shit from the Rangers? He was like a pitcher or something. Bauer. Walker, Texas Ranger? Bauer, yeah. Oh. Right? <laughs> Trevor Bauer talked all that okay. shit, dude. Yeah, but was it? Uh, was he on the Rangers? Yeah, that's what I thought. Either way, some some dickhead from the Rangers was talking all this shit. And Lance McCullers fucking smoked his ass. He was like, he's like, uh, we play, or the Rangers dude was like, oh, yeah, it says Texas on our jersey because we, we rep the whole state. He's like, no, it says Texas on your jerseys because nobody knows what the fuck Arlington is. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved Lance McCullers every day since that, that moment. Shout out Lance McCullers. What's sports. up, bro? Sports. Anyways, what are we talking about? We should turn into a sports podcast, dude. Let's do shit. it, man. Dude, we can, can do that. Yeah, Hell yeah, yeah dude. Xander said he's down. He said he'll do, let us do let's it. Do a, let's do a podcast so war with, uh, with Pat McAfee, McAfee, dude. I think he said we got to watch Pass WWE, too, though. Did, oh. You want to do a sports podcast, like a, a podcast war against Pat McAfee, dude? Yeah, absolutely. Are you kidding me? We're already at war with the Kelsey brothers. Right, Tom? <laughs> no. You got the mic. Talk Jason, about it. Jason, I love you, dude. Dude, gay? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you gay for that, gay? dude. Is anybody else seeing how gay this is? Yeah, it's pretty gay. It's cool. Comedy. gay. <laughs> Comedy. Yeah. Everybody has their price, you know. Yeah, but I support it. Tom's uh, price is one Super Bowl, like fucking hundred years ago. How many of the Texans won? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How many of the Texans won? Me, personally, Super Bowls over a hundred. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? Real life, real life, not Madden. Shut the fuck up. My my real life is Madden, all right? So I don't want to hear that shit, dude. Oh, what video games aren't real? No, they're real. You do, what are you saying? Video games don't cause crime. No, they do. I'm saying video games don't cause video games don't cause cause like, moonland. No, they, huh? <laughs> they do. I'm saying yeah, video that's games. what I'm saying, dude. So Madden's real. Eh. It's the biggest cringe fan base. Yeah, dude. It's if dumb. you play fucking uh, what is it? <laughs> for, for uh, Led Zeppelin backwards. Madden. Yeah, it says Madden in it. You ever synced up uh, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon with uh, The Wizard of Oz? The Wizard of Oz? No, dude? but what I have done I've is I've taken done acid, acid and done other things. I've done That's acid. weird. Well, do acid if that can the happen, Matrix. then, the Matrix, then video that. games are real, dude. Up. On acid? Yeah. yeah. Sure Obviously. The Animatrix will fuck you up, dude. Oh, also uh, Guitar Hero when you're on Mushrooms. Oh. Like the little fucking little dots, they just keep going through Any the screen. Like, just, just fucking just falling. Fuck out, you it fucks you up, dude. <laughs> I wouldn't, Any kind of pattern. Oh, uh, uh, what was that? Need for Speed fucking uh, Neon? No, the one that was like, it was all like, it wasn't called Neon. What the fuck was it called? It was Damn crazy it. colors? Yeah, it was all like the crazy fucking, like, you would hit turbo and it would just be like. Oh, pfft. oh, Midnight Club? No, it wasn't Midnight no. Club, dude. It was totally Need for Speed. I think it's Underground, no? No, it wasn't it's, Underground. It was after Underground. 
I'm older. Maybe I'm pretty sure it's underground. You don't even know King of the Hill is, so just fuck. shut up. Clint's like 40. <laughs> Clint's like 40, dude. Dude, I'm the oldest one of, of uh, all of us because of how many cigarettes I've smoked in my life. Let's yeah. all say our age, dude. <laughs> go ahead. Clint, you go first. A lot. Old enough. Does anybody else want to say yeah. Clint's age? 69. Yeah. I'm only 24 years old, but I've lived a hard life. Yeah. Wait, you're only 33, though. Me? Yeah. I'm not even sure anymore. But yeah, probably. What so year were you born? Uh, huh? What year were you born? One of them. 1990. We'll call on a lifeline. Perfect, hey. Perfect timing. Kristen, how old is Clint? 33, right? 33? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember it, and I teach my woman to not remember. <laughs> He's about to leave. He's about to be 33. No, I'm about to be 34, but good try, babe. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, you're 32? Yeah, I make sure she doesn't know. I'm confused. Smoke screens. He's just like the government, baby. <laughs> CIA chip implant. He was born in 1990. Oh, yeah. the year of our Lord, 1990. Yeah. AD. Right. Praise Allah. Yeah. Lord of mercy. Kristen, why don't you tell everybody your favorite thing about Clint? All right. He's really funny. <laughs> That's right, everybody. I'm uh, real uh, funny. Short bunch of fucking fake news in here, dude. Dude, what are you talking about? You're not even talking to a microphone, so nobody's here. Uh, and that honestly, man, don't give him the you, mic man. back because he keeps saying the N word. I don't you, know dude. what his problem is, but he keeps saying dude. that. Wait, and he keeps saying Jap. I don't know what that's that. about. <laughs> and say the N-word? What's, that? What's nip? <laughs> So uh, is it true that in Japan they actually they refer to themselves as Nippon? Is that not real? What it's negative Nippon? What is that? Never heard of like the Nippon fighting hams? No, hams. No? All right, fine, whatever. Clint's yeah. on some weird right. shit. Right. Here's the get over here. I think in Japan they call themselves something different. They what did you call, call them, Kristen? I got something else to talk, to talk about. Being extremely <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what, what do they call themselves in Japan, Clint? I, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I'm saying it's kings. like, we call it Mexico. It's actually Mexico. Mexico? Yeah. No, that's wrong. No, it's like... Oh, uh, it's Sexico, right? No, you guys yeah. like it depends what language you're speaking, dude. Yeah, probably not. It's called the... No, it does. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, Kristen. <laughs> We'll be okay, right back um, after this. So you guys work for a Japanese company. You don't even know what Japan is we'll called. We'll be right Japanese. back. <laughs> so, and we're back, folks. So you guys work for a Japanese company. You don't even know what Japan is called in Japanese. We live in America. We work for an American company Japanese. who is maybe, may or may not be owned by a Japanese company, but that's different. So how do you feel about the Japanese and their friendship with the Nazis in 1947? How do I personally feel about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, Pro- Professionally. Why? How do you professionally you feel about it? You know what's funny? It? I was listening. Oh, and I'm listening. <laughs> but uh, we had a training recently where, like, they sent us a link, and you're like, hey, do this training. Uh, you don't know, harass people, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Um, and at the same, it was from, like, the parent company for the first time in a long time that they had sent out that link. And you have to click, like, the, the translate shit on Google Chrome. But Cause there was a the bunch link. of other trainings on there from the Japanese company. You didn't you probably didn't click on those, right? Yeah. I did. There's one training where they're like the history of our company, I won't say the name, but they were like the history of it and like the history during the Great War. The Great War. That's what they call it, dude. Uh, Hell yeah, bro. And then the they great talk suffering. about all the stuff that they imported and exported during the Great from War. From Korea? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. More, more lucrative. Yeah, so, there's a lot of Bro, my stuff. WW2 buffs out there. Hey. <laughs> Russia. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, that's they cool. They were trying to stay alive, dude. Have you ever yeah. had anything scary Shout happen to them? Here? They're doing really good. Yeah, well, what are they doing in the Philippines? Scary. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> they don't mention yeah. it. <laughs> they don't mention it. Hey, do y'all believe in ghosts? Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to ask. Let's move on. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's begin with Ms. Xander. Xander. <laughs> Okay, Wait, let's fucking go down. Let's let's go down. Have you ever had something paranormal or scary happen to you? And if so, if there's more than one, what's the one that stands out? Go ahead, Matt, uh, since you obviously want to talk about Well, sorry. no, no, no. I got, no, I, I got you. I got I you. To, Ronel. So, I've let's take turns. two experiences. One, I can't. One, I, I might be able to explain, but one, I can't. So okay. when, when I was like maybe 10 or 12, I stayed at my grandparents' house. Where? And in Pasadena. 
like in a country oh, style yeah. or just like a regular That's a hotbed for paranormal activity. <laughs> regular neighborhood. Uh, and, and good tacos. So I'm in the living room, granted, my grandpa was super religious. Like, okay. Christian? Damn near evangelist. Okay, okay, okay. Well, no, he oh, wrote Christian. a book about the Bible, right? Yes. Yeah, He's a Christian? Real Christian Southern oh, Muslim. Baptist. Good man. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> anyways, so he had a Bible room, right? Okay. Yeah, Bible room. And I would always stay in the living room. And one night, I'm I'm sleeping. I wake up, and I see Bible a shadow man? figure of the Grim Reaper. Wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Step back. All right. First of all, what the fuck does your Bible room look like, and where is it positioned well, in the house? Well, my grandpa wrote a book so it's like about a the apostles of the Bible. So okay, there's 12 cool. apostles. There's right. 13. So I've 12, been there. 13, 12, whatever you believe. Either way, um, you, 12. Was real, real, all right, let's just like, was Chris real Rock. quick, if we're in this room, there's like uh, this house, there's a there's a Bible room somewhere in this house. Yes. And and no. it's just like... It's his study room. We call it the Bible Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay it's like a study. He, okay. He, did his writings and studies and that's where he whatever. spoke. That's where he spoke with God. And to add on top of I that, my grandpa did. Um, uh, He's taking it very personally. He was Catholic. No, no, he just said no, he, <laughs> he, he provided exorcism. No, to do exorcisms, you have to be Catholic. From what I hear, I don't. Not know. necessarily, but it is more it is more of a Catholic thing. More okay, of like Sorry. you call on a certain oh, church to do certain things to get permission to do. Things. We don't really talk about but exorcisms. And I guess well. My 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 grandfather did uh, what are they called where they travel around with religious pilgrimage rape no uh, missions yeah, missions. missions he did a lot of missionary work so he would go around I've read the Bible so and times. and my grand my my dad would attest to this like when he would travel with them he would he, they would go do exorcisms like this is what my grandpa told okay, me okay, like, I don't know if it's true or false oh, this is fucking dope. I don't know if it's true so or they false. go into the rainforest and you got me dude I'm listening now dudes that have bones in their go teeth to missionaries <laughs> and perform these ceremonies on no, don't listen to these guys dude I'm yeah. listening so, I like this I like this um, my dad he didn't know anything about it he was just going with him as a child you know he, he how old oh, was he? this is dad's dad's work I'm just going with him right like so, five after these. Um, ceremonies he would um, he told me that he Fine saw young boys. basically gremlins okay so like once my grandfather would rid the spirits they would be free floating in, in the space that they, like, they, were, the heebie-jeebies. they were uh, occupying okay. right? so yeah. Wall Street. They, they wouldn't be possessed anymore but they would be around so throughout the night there was like a not like a ritual but there was like a ceremony my grandpa would do to rid, rid, the spirits. rid the spirits of the place and send them back in, home. in that time yeah. frame my my my, uh, my dad would uh see these um spirits these gremlins that and he was our age like teenager speaking uh, to the mic dude um like yeah, talking at the, to the edge mic, of his dude. bed Be so he would see like just creatures like he couldn't define them but just but, fucking beings it was like almost like he was making it up <laughs> kind of <laughs> man but, I'm not <laughs> but hearing this but sorry, hearing sorry. this has like a, a, ten, a ten year old you're like Got your me. fucking world's fucked up your world's <laughs> fucked up so then you rely on the religion okay okay I hate you. to cut you off but what were you talking about saying that what you would what did you ask, Matt? Like, what he asked what was seen? a fucking so, a paranormal thing that so happened. That you've been that through. I think he asked that. about aliens or something. <laughs> well, well, yeah. What's the what craziest saw, ghost you've ever seen, dude? Well, what no, it was I ghost. saw it was ghost. stemmed from what my grandpa had been accruing for so many years, I feel. Like, I was in that room, and there was there's, there's good need. I believe there's in energy, dude. Need. I believe Same in energies thing. for sure. So I yeah, like electricity. The Bible room is a good energy. You don't always have to be funny. He was doing it. But even though there's my wife energy, only likes me because I'm going funny. to be like a negative presence. Like no matter <laughs> how positive you are, there's gonna be some negativity there. Like, and I feel like what I saw was that kind of just like yeah. I felt some, I felt some negativity from my grandfather too, but that's probably because he was a Bears fan. <laughs> But yeah, that was that was that, that <laughs> fucked up little You don't joke. always have to be funny. <laughs> uh, whenever I was a little bit older, I went and stayed at my buddy's house, and he's like, "Don't stay in that room." And I'm like, "Wait, how old were you?" 
Uh, probably you were like, what are you, gay? <laughs> and was this here in town? In Pasadena. Okay, okay. Don't stay in that room. It's just uh, He was like, don't stay in that room. I jerk off in that room. Don't stay in there. The Bible room. The Bible room. The Bible room is just the dildo weird. room. And I just told is you it was bleach? the Bible room. Right? Uh, uh, sorry, go on. Like, like, don't stay in that room. And I was like, fuck it. Yeah. I'm going to stay in there. That room's slippery. Don't stay there. I was fine. I woke up randomly. And then I looked it's slippery and sticky. At Someone the same was touching time. me. Three thirty in the morning, and that, then that time, yeah, the, the door was open, and then it just <laughs> shut. I was like, "Fuck this shit." Um, you got up and I left. ran off, went to the my buddy's room, like, "Yo, your shit's fucked." He's like, "Yeah, I told you not to stay in that room." And he was, I was like, yeah. "But if your if your buddy was really funny, he'd be like slamming those doors, right? Like, yeah. fucking nah, dude, that's, that's right. fucked well, up. Maybe the door was like." Close, not closed, but closed way. over, and then the AC the turned on, and the pressure in the, in the room. was a porcelain doll room. Fuck dolls, dude. Fuck oh, dolls. Oh, that there. shit's haunted, yeah. dude. I believe in ghosts when it comes to porcelain dolls. Yeah, dude. that's the whole. Fuck dude, that. you should have said that to begin with, dude. <laughs> yeah, that, I believe that, ghosts that was inhabit the dolls room. because they represent humans, you know? They're like, oh, it's something to go into. All right, stop, man. No, Come just, on, dude. Be serious. Well, Anything that yeah. bleeds for seven days and then that. There's something called pareidolia, where kind of like you trick your mind into thinking you saw something or... Something happened where you try to explain it paranormally, like a, a wind draft shuts the door, and you're like, "Whoa, like, guys, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight." Yeah, it's so like, "Fuck it's, you guys." It's like when like the if the sun call me. passes <laughs> across the sky, it's like there's Close a guy in a chariot that's right. pulling the sun across the sky. Well, I got something. It's like that something. kind of thing. Okay, go on now. All right, Give so um, all of my family's from down south, like Victoria, Texas area. I don't know if y'all know what that is. It's it's, it's pretty much just like big fields of houses. Not Victoria, Texas deep. is like literally fucking down the street, dude. We it's know like two hours it is. away. It's like two hours away. Yeah. So like it used to be Mexico, not anymore. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Shout so, out Sam Houston. There's signs for it on the highway, dude. It says Victoria, Texas that Dina way. Boston. We know where Victoria is. Uh, I'm just saying, if y'all ever seen it, it fucking looks fucking just like a regular ass ranch kind of. I've place. actually never been there, but okay. So, um, my great, I mean, so like my great grandparents, they have a house out there that they built and a bunch of weird shit's happened throughout the years. And being a kid, I remember being six years old, I think at the earliest, and I would always be in the same room with my grandparents and my dad and mom and my older brother. And they would always talk about randomly throughout the night, something paranormal, like, oh, do you remember that, that time that this happened or this happened? And like... Growing up, I always was like, I wonder if something's ever going to happen to me being here. And something fucking did. And I was like, this is fucking crazy. So, like, my dad got off work one night late. And it, this this was like 4 a.m. in the morning whenever he got home. And he got That'd home. be and, funny, dude. <laughs> so, like, he, and they, they had these beans on the counter and they were just jumping. <laughs> it was fucking, fucking busting. All right, so, all right. So, like, no, no, no. So, like, he, he, he fucking went to bed and, like... You know, they have an old style house. Like it's small, it's nothing it's nothing crazy, no, nothing, nothing nothing fancy. So like at four AM he just went to bed and he saw this fucking lady in white like go through his room and he shared the room with his two other brothers in the back den and there's also a door outside that comes in and he was like, What the fuck was that? So he got up and fucking followed her to the kitchen and there was nobody there. There was nobody awake. His fucking grandma was on the other side of the house asleep. I mean, his mom was my my grandma. So, like, that story was always fucking haunting me as a fucking kid. You know? So, like, as a kid, I was like, this is fuck, a fuck this house. A white lady in the house? Yeah, like, a yeah. fucking, like, ghost lady. I was like, fuck this fucking house. I'm not staying here whenever I'm alone, you know? And finally, whenever I was, like, maybe, like, 22, 21, I went there, and I stayed there, and some just some, like, weird shit happened that I didn't even know how to explain it, but it was just, like, the fucking bed would, would move by itself, and I wouldn't even be fucking moving on it. Like, I would feel shit, like, push me off at, at, at you night. Should, you'd be cranking Dude. down, and all of a sudden you're on the other side of the room. You're like, oh. <laughs> I felt something, like, push me off the fucking bed. Like, not hard, but, like, it was push, slowly pushing me. And I was like, is this house just fucking uneven or something, you know? Daddy. But, like, there was nothing going on that was, I was just like, what the fuck is going on? But that's that's my experience ab- about it, though. Where? Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, all right, Tom. What's your, uh, what's your poltergeist thing? Or your ghost all right, guys. Thing? So, uh, a couple weeks ago... Grandma. Hold on. Hell yeah. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Cheers, brother. This first is, this one, is, this first is, one on the This is Tom. This is Tom about to be really funny. I can see funny. my fart on the fucking audio <laughs> right now. It's beautiful. Tom's about to yes. be really funny with yes. his ghost story. Here All right, Tom. Come on, Tom. your ghost story. Come on, let's go. I know your grandma died, dude. Okay? Come on. 
So a couple weeks ago, my grandma died. Rest in peace, Mimi. Sorry. And that same day, we went to the Astros, and Ronell fucking Blanco yeah, threw baby. a goddamn no hitter. No hitter, baby. Ronell. Fuck the Blue Jays. Dog, Fuck the Blue Jays. Yeah, Fuck thanks, the Mimi. Blue Jays. Yep. Fuck Springer. Dude, I feel like there was angels in the outfield <laughs> and in the infield too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> there was one. So, go yeah, on. so what happened? So what happened? That's it. Mimi Nothing. died. Uh, Mimi grandma, died. We got a no hitter, died. baby. And we got a no Let's hitter go. in the same day, dude. It was <laughs> phenomenal, dude. God, God, I, I don't want to go last because Clint's going to go last. I'm not shimmel on to a story, <laughs> right, dude? I have a really good one. All right. So one time. I, I don't like that. Okay. What was that, dude? Why are you? Why are... All right. So when I was a little kid. No, I want to go before All right, that, fine, dude, fine, because fine, it, it better go. be a good story. Go. I don't know what that is, go. but. Um... <laughs> Number two. <laughs> I can't beat that. Oh, <laughs> you guys just missed out on a really good ghost story, dude. Right. Congratulations. What was it? I got a clan made. <laughs> That's All right. So <laughs> when I was a little kid, I had like this therapist and he like, he would, uh, he would always like, <laughs> fart shit your pants. I don't know. He, well, he would help me because like, I would see like, I don't know, like ghosts in my room. So, you know, <laughs> I feel yeah, like dude. I've seen this movie the before. Six, the sixth sense. Yeah. And well, that's the thing is like, the only way to get rid of the was ghosts is I had to I had to help the ghosts with whatever their trauma was from the way they died. Um, so he would, you know, he would kind of like be almost like an intermediary between me and the ghosts, you know, and he would let me know what the ghosts were saying, you know, and uh, or I would let Did him you know, know that it was a ghost saying. at this point? Yeah. And then she turns out the doll where he at the you. end of the movie, my my therapist was a ghost, too, man. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. Did he touch you? Yeah, he did. We are yeah. never We're talking about ghosts swear. again, dude. Uh, when you when you touch you, <laughs> if I had another fart, dude. If I had another fart, dude, it was coming right there. But I don't. I don't. Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. All right, Mikey, what's your ghost story? No, dude, I hope you shit yourself. Okay. One time, I ate a whole yeah. chicken, all right, all right, fine, fine, <laughs> and fine, then it fine. came out of my butt as a fine. ghost. The closest I've ever thought, because I don't know if I believe in. Like, okay. Okay. Ghost interjection, right? But the closest I've ever thought, if you fart, dude, I swear to God, I'll fucking leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working one. If up, you're funny, so you'll fucking if, fart. Whenever you're ready to go. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I used to live with my parents, obviously, and we built an upstairs, <laughs> and then my, uh, <laughs> and then uh, my cousin moved in with us, right? My older cousin, and so we shared a room yeah, for a little like while. Cool, he had an earring and stuff. He was Mexican. Yeah. A lip ring, mom. He had a, a gold gold chicken. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he, he's a good guy. Damn, Xander. He is, I know, that was kind of that fucked was, up. Get dude. comfortable, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, dude, why'd you, why'd you get funny, dude? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Something right. came over me. Right. <laughs> Your cool cousin with the moped and the eyebrow he ring. He did not have up. any of those things. He was real Mexican, like. He's yeah, so Mexican, we could say all these fucked up things and he'll just <laughs> laugh it off because he doesn't know what we're saying. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, really? That kind of? That kind oh. of Mexican. Mm. Yeah. So anyways, he, um, so we had <laughs> like, like, um, we had like <laughs> adjacent beds to each other, right? So he was in that corner, I was in this corner, and then the door was at that edge, right? So like, if he, if the door opened, he would go straight to his bed. And then if the door opened and I was going to my bed, I would walk towards where I'm at right now, right? Yep, so and uh, I don't know. It's a really short story. One one night we had carpet, you know. So one night the door opens, in my head. See, I always think it's a dream, you know. But also I wasn't drinking at that time. Okay, I wasn't drinking, so I didn't think the way I think now. You know, sometimes you like wake up in the middle of the night. You're like I was fucked up. I probably dreamt that. Yeah. But at that point, you no. Know, if if you yeah, remember you know, this, you well, see ghosts all the time when you get fucked up, right? Yeah, um, dude. But I wasn't getting fucked up yet. So I hear the door open and I, I'm like, you know, dead asleep. And then I hear footsteps the way you hear footsteps on carpet. Right. You can hear them like soft. Yeah. yeah you can hear people walking on carpet. It's yeah. hard to avoid that. Right. <laughs> don't, in, don't interrupt Matt, please. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm fucking listening. I was trying to paint a fucking picture. <laughs> Matt, please just focus, all right? <laughs> and so I hear the footsteps coming towards me. And as I hear the footsteps, like, walk past me, 
And I'm like, oh, my cousin's about to, we used to like, you know. Fuck with each other. Yeah, we used to like fuck with each other all the time, you know. You prank like each in your other, sleep. You like, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes <laughs> you lick each other's ear sticks. as you're <laughs> sleeping. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so as, as I hear the footsteps walk past me, I like lift like the covers. Yeah. And I look towards his bed to like make sure like he's not like about to like fuck with me and you know do what he usually does. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has a parking kind of. <laughs> and and so I lift the covers and I see that he's in bed. You know, like I can see him. Like he's not even like under the sheets. I see him like in bed. Was he hard? He was the you hardest are. I've ever seen him, dude. <laughs> what, no, dude. Did that make you hard? <laughs> And and so and so I like I like, I like lift the covers. Yeah, you pull the covers bed, back. Right? See, <laughs> <laughs> and then he's next to me all of a sudden, dude. And then we just were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, Being gay is funny. like what? <laughs> what for real? <laughs> <laughs> and and so I look over there and he's in bed and I hear the footsteps and at the time I had like the what's that shit called the. High top? No, the, the, <laughs> flat top. The top of your bed, like the, the oh, headboard. headboard. Oh, rat's tail? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm ESL, dude. <laughs> um, fucking rat's tail. <laughs> you're not ESL, dude. You're ED. ED. No, <laughs> you, got e, you got ED, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not it's ED. Good, it's ED. EB. I'm ED, EB, too, okay. bro. Yeah. I'm ED, too. Um, He's an emerging bisexual. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> and so... <laughs> Emerging. No, and I got so ED. and so then I uh I, I lift the covers and I see the seal over there and then I he, like hear the footsteps go behind the headboard. And that was one of the scariest times of my life because like you could still like I see him and I'm like fuck dude something's like, how old were you Mike? Like, I was probably like fucking fifteen or sixteen. Dude. Damn yeah it's fucking scary. Yeah it was scary as hell because you could hear like people walking in your in like in your room and you're like shit dude someone's behind my bed and you just wait it out and then eventually. The sun comes up and you're like, all right, I'm gonna go look now. And then, so, do you yeah. think energies follow people? Dude, I yeah. think energies are real for sure. I think if you go into like a place wanting to find sure. something bad, it's gonna fucking find you. Right. I don't know about like, all that, man. No, just kidding. I'm just like, like hey, <laughs> I just like all these people on fucking YouTube that hunt <laughs> like paranormal bad ghosts and shit, they always end up saying like, oh, I came home that night and someone fucking followed me here. We, we, we weird shit's happening. Like, if you go willingly look for something bad to attract to your life, it's gonna fucking follow you. You know, yep. that's why you don't get married. Portals in your souls yep. ex- ex- exist. Like women. Yeah. But but on th- on that point, like like after that, I heard like footsteps and shit, and then right. it was never anything bad, and so I just never paid is any it, mind to it. Is there a possibility that one of your family members was maybe like reshingling the roof? <laughs> 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 no, unlikely. We're not roofers. That's no. not our family thing. Okay. okay. Maybe mowing the yard. Good guess, though. <laughs> boots. It's boots. Yeah. <laughs> Making shoes. He's, he's trying to walk on them to see the comfort level. Comedy. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> All right. So you said that you have another one that you want to share? Uh, oh, Clint has a really good one right now. Go ahead, Clint. All right. So one time I got laid by a ghost. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah dude, it was Hell fucking yeah, bad. Dude. Guy, girl, what's up? Uh, it was mostly bed sheet. Okay. <laughs> but the shirt of sheep? I got laid, dude. I can test to that, bro. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, didn't you tell me about so it? what you do is you get a bed, you get like bed sheet, right? <laughs> high, high thread count, you know. We got, we're talking real high. A couple rubber bands <laughs> and a boner. <laughs> That's all you need to make this happen. A so it's like Jack Save for the next one, dude. Don't don't give it a all Ouija away. Right board. <laughs> It's like, uh, so no, dude, I don't know. Uh, the closest thing I ever saw to a ghost was one time I thought I saw somebody standing at the end of the hallway one time at my dad's house, but then I was like, what? who the fuck was that? And I never saw it. I didn't see him. I go. thought I saw him. Like, and it was like a sweet old lady. It was like the nicest do, do ghost you, Do ever. you believe in she ghosts, though? She was definitely making like fucking you, crepes or something. Huh? Do, you, do you believe in ghosts? Are you a skeptic? Me? Yeah, do you think ghosts are I don't believe, I don't Actually, I don't believe in anything. Do you, be, you don't believe in anything? Like this country is not real or what? No, I don't no. believe in I don't believe in Supernatural stuff's not like The only thing, thing I believe in is Donald J. Trump. Come hey, on, Dr. baby. Pepper. God damn it. If I, hey, we're done. See you next week. Four, baby. <laughs> Um, 2024 not, not really I mean like Alright 
Do you believe in an afterlife? We can get real dark if you guys want me to, because yeah. I'm down with that. We were really funny up to this point, so it's time to get serious. All right, let's be serious, all right? You want to see the darkness? No, what seriously, is? though. Do you believe in an afterlife? So, like... Be serious. A black, a black person's butthole. Is it wrong to refer to that as a black hole? Is it purple because uh, it's so dark? Or is technically, it like black? It's, a, it's called a white hole. No, no, no. I got a white hole. <laughs> It's kind of brown. Clint, we're being uh, serious. Okay, all right, being serious. All right, uh, so like, so if you're a ghost, right? Is this like the fucking uh, what was that? No, it's your experience. That show. It's your uh, opinion on it, dude. You my, can say that's, that's what I'm saying. It's a safe for, space, that's what I'm dude. Saying. All right, let's. Okay, so, so is your ghost it's a safe space, dude? We're not gonna make fun of you. I'm trying to ask questions that nobody wants to even answer. So you have no so, experiences. So here's what I. Shut the fuck <laughs> up, dude. Shave your mustache, dude. Get no. the fuck out of here. Um, but no, but I'm just saying, like, married, please all right, so I don't have... I like your mustache, too. I don't have any direct experience, like, with a ghost, per se. But like, can you just ghost, answer the question? What, is, what, 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 what I'm asking is, like, so a ghost, is that, like, a is that like your spirit that's just still here on Earth? No. Hanging we, around? We didn't say ghosts. We just said... So oh, paranormal. paranormal. Supernatural, yeah. There's a snake that lives in my backyard, and every once in a while I'll walk outside and go, oh, shit. <laughs> but it's fine. It's not poisonous. Do you anything. believe in supernatural yeah. things, dude? Like things that can't be explained uh, by our general understanding of nature. So, but, okay, so those are two different things. Supernatural. No, they're not. It's a serious no, question. No, no, no. Okay, so not being able to understand something and something being supernatural are two completely different things. It's the same thing as extra. Go ahead and explain it, dude, since you're so smart. Okay, then let's go to, all right, let's just go to our, our history. No. Something I actually brought up a little bit You're earlier. On now. But wh- how? Why does the sun go across the sky? Oh, obviously it's a dude pulling the sun across the sky with That's a chariot. True. Clearly. And then later we figure out. Oh, actually it's fucking. They the, were dumb, dude. We're not dumb the, no more. The Earth isn't the middle of the of the fucking universe. Right, guys, we already. Is anybody surprised by this? And this Move and on now. Spins. All right, right. The problem is saying just because you can't explain something doesn't mean that it's supernatural. It, it can't be explained um, by our okay, general well, listen, understanding. Let me ask you something else. Hold on. Right now is what my point yeah, I mean, It could be True. the finest science that we own. Can't explain okay. certain things. That's let fine. That doesn't something. make it such as such as uh, quantum fucking uh, mechanics. Yeah, GBT. The, the 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 rift between Newtonian physics and quantum mechanics. Well, we're not gonna do more on this. Exactly. So shut up, dude. Okay, let me ask you something. I'm glad you brought up quantum physics. And it's not even the two things. It's 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 why. It's Quantum why those six. two things can't coexist. Okay, well, let, let me ask you something. Has something ever scared you in life like that you you, you, you couldn't explain? There's a snake that lives in my backyard. Well, you can fucking explain that. <laughs> that's a good question. That's not, that, let's not believe Okay, Matt. something that I can't explain. On, something that's just like, what the fuck was that? Like a, a moment where you're like... Yeah, dude, it was fuck? probably like... Honestly, don't be looking funny at right now. Tra- be serious. Looking at training for no, be serious. Like, whoa, what the hell was that about? <laughs> Come on, you, <laughs> well, you don't God, always have to be. This. Well, you don't always have to be a jokester. You can sometimes be serious. I was being serious. <laughs> what? You never looked at the lady boys? <laughs> no, he was asking you a serious question. Okay, seriously, something that's happened that I can't explain. One time, not serious. One time when I was a little kid. <laughs> Listen, everybody. Why are you I'm being serious? Being serious. You, this is honestly. This was this was this was a real fucking thing when I was a little kid. All Nobody right. believes you anymore. No, no, no. Okay, I was a little kid, right? And I was riding my fucking bike home from school, right? Okay. And uh, like something happened, a car came, some somebody was walking, some shit like that. And I was like, oh fuck! And I turned towards the curb, and I was like, ah! And I closed my eyes, and I just popped up on the curb, and I didn't fall off my bike, and I was like, I think an angel just saved me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not shitting you, dude. Is it, I've been, I've is been it a for years. Theory? I was like, dude. I Game. think God. I think God. I think God just came down and saved me. <laughs> Every day for, uh, for summer. <laughs> no demonic possessions, dude. Every oh yeah. Dude. Okay, so there was this one like retarded guy that lived on our street, and uh, did he like John Cena? Uh, no, no, yeah, I'm sure he did. Um, but no, he he cruised around yeah, the we neighborhood. We were talking about that earlier. Like, the, do you remember and when he this like, man retarded? He would like watch us skateboard. I mean, he wasn't like retarded. Retarded. No, but he had a car and a driver's retarded. license. But he would drive Clint, around and Clint, like you remember watch when skateboard. This, you remember when this right? Remember yeah, when Carlos Mencia was popular. Uh, but anyways, he dr- he would drive around the neighborhood, <laughs> and he was like, he was weird, right? He was this weird guy. Did I know and him? And then one day, he was like, he pulled up, and he was like, hey. No, and I had talked to him before. I was like, what's up? And he was like, hey, I can't blow up this balloon. And I was like, oh, God. What do you mean? And he's like, this, I can't blow up the balloon. And I was like, he's like, will you do it? And I was like, oh, God. All right, fuck it. And I blow up the balloon for him. He's like, thanks. And drives off. I'm like. That was oh, the weirdest dude, just fucking to thing see you blow. I've ever seen in my life. And I just walked home, and then, like, 
two months later, it was on the news. This dude was going around like oh, <laughs> he, he was definitely putting his dick in the balloons. <laughs> no, yeah. He was damn definitely putting his dick in the balloons. Dude. <laughs> Clint, so you need to go to so therapy for that one, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Clint, have you told other people that story? That is no. not paranormal. That's like a new one, huh? I've never heard that, that one before. Holy a, shit. This is a fresh story. This is my soft molestation story. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Hey, like, um, we might have to stop right now and like talk about this. We were talking like, about shit that didn't happen. That's pr- we were I couldn't explain it. I don't know why that happened, dude. Stuff. <laughs> I don't know why that happened but to me. But did it scare day. you? That's so some serious uh, yeah, shit just came out of it. <laughs> that's the Are devil, you scared right? now? Uh, that was the devil. Yeah, Jesus Christ, dude. That's, that's Satan, as bro. supernatural as I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's that's set up a GoFundMe for Clint for his... Uh... <laughs> uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I got soft molested, dude. It's all right. I'm fine with it. Comedy. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> Comedy. Get it. Get it. Oh God, yeah, dude, uh, stop there. But for real though, everybody who missed us for two but weeks, for I real? do appreciate you guys coming back for this next one. Damn, uh, we're gonna have an extra special episode. Of just Matt with terrible episode with terrible fucking audio quality. Have you ever Jack It's coming. Have you uh, ever done Jack I don't know what that means. Yeah, Ex- yeah. Well, nah, maybe Matt. I do know what it means. But let Matt explain. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pee while I'm at experience jack Okay, so jackrabbiting is whenever you're in prison, you you can't masturbate because if you're caught with your dick in your hand, if you're caught in your dick with your hand in jail or prison and a guard sees you, that's another fucking, you know, charge on your thing. You get your dick in, in decent exposure, you, and you get fucking jumped and shit. So um, the way that you jack off is my friend was in there, and he said, like, the first night, he was like, what the fuck is all this noise? It sounded like foot hitting metal. Just like... And he, he said that his fucking bunkmate was doing it. Everybody in the hall was doing it. He's like, what the fuck is that? So apparently the way that they jack off is on their fucking bed sheet, they take off this thin nylon cord on the very top, like a regular piece of wool. They put it around the tip of their dick and the other part on their toe. And they fucking go like this with, the, with their foot. And it fucking goes up and down on your dick from the other side. And it jacks you off without touching your own dick. But your foot's like this against the bed. So you're like... I feel like this is something you've tried. Fuck no. We were having such a I use my hands. It works. What happened? It works. Hey, he fucking told me to talk about it. <laughs> it works. Who's your friend? You're allowed to Those say. Those guys know. He's not my friend doing. anymore. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Those His, well, name, was tell you about His name was Steven. His name was Steven. What? Imagine, what imagine Steven what, dude? I want to make sure it's not the same Steven this. I know. Yeah, can we no, you don't know him. You're in jail for years. You met him once. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you were you you <laughs> guys piled around for like a couple imagine, hours at a party one time. Imagine, you guys were good oh, is that Steven friends. Tom Neater? You're in jail for You're tapping your toes and just enjoying How long happen. till you jack off? All right, you're in jail. You got well, it depends years. why I'm in jail. 15 years? Okay, well, either way, you got 15 No, it does years. depend why I'm in jail. Uh, you you robbed a bank. With, yeah. with the okay. other four guys that are in here. Either right way. Now. First 15 minutes. <laughs> That's how you display dominance, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Some yeah. honesty. Yeah, are we talking about after we're in intake? Yeah. Yeah. Because in the intake, long? I'm jerking it. In the holding so, cell, I'm fucking doing you're it. In, you're, in, you're in prison <laughs> my for life. Shot. Well, I'm, doing it. I'm <laughs> collecting oatmeal pies. At and what I'm making point oatmeal time cream pies out of them. You know what I'm saying? Do you saying? feel it's neat, necessary to jack off? <laughs> yes. Like, okay, so we, we robbed the bank. Like, us right now in our current lives no. tonight. You're in your bed. You're about to get yeah, married, and we went and robbed the fucking bank. No, no we're Wells past Fargo that. at Spencer we're and that. Red Bull. We're, we're, past what? <laughs> we're past the robin. We're in the jail cell. All right. you're no, we tried. Point. Okay, so we tried you're to rock rob a bank. hard tonight, though. Tonight, what do you do? Tonight we tried to rob a bank. No, no, we're in He's jail. You're yeah. in prison. Like you're you're already already okay, hell. last night. <laughs> yeah, La- last night? <laughs> last night? To, when was it? Like like our current lives? Yeah. yeah it, no, it you, matters. You got, sent, you got, you got bailed out. No, that, was, that was nice. You got to stay at home for a few weeks, maybe a few months. Okay. So this, this is good. after the, ca- the court case. Now you're doing hard time. Heading down to fucking Brownsville, dude. Okay. You got arrested for your driving license oh, yeah, suspended. You're in a month in Canada. Did I say Brownsville? Was that racist? Did I say Brownsville instead of Huntsville? So so (laughs) it's my current life. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Brownsville. (laughs) You got arrested for driving with a license suspended. You're in month. That doesn't sound like you're in county for a month. What do you? How how far? I'm I'm gonna be in county for For one month. Yeah, four weeks. I can hold it in. Yeah, yeah. 
Jesus. It a actually month? would be really exciting to try to hold it in. But yeah. doesn't it seem... <laughs> the, after in that first yeah, it's like, that would be worth it, bro. We're chasing the dragon at that yeah. point. <laughs> Alright, sorry, alright, sorry. Katie, get over here. Alright, but doesn't it? Doesn't it? 90 days. 90 days. (laughs) Sorry, one month. But, alright, but honestly. True question. I got a question. I think would be pretty fucking exciting, dude. Three months. Clay has a question. It's a challenge. No nut. I have a question. Isn't it gayer to hold your cum inside of you? (laughs) To have more cum in you than you should? No, because it's all coming out, dude. So you're saying. If you hold your All cum in, all the witnesses are gay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> all of them are gay. All the gay Jehovah's Witnesses that are holding their cum in are gay. Yeah. That's so right. really gay. Yeah. And we all love I, incest. We all been inside of our moms. Are you that? Are you, are you a Jehovah? <laughs> are you a Jehovah's Witness, Tom? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> I don't believe in. I'm a young Jehovah's. This is this is like how uh all. all all thumbs are fingers, but not all fingers are thumbs. Maybe we'll That's see y'all soon after right. World War III happens here soon. Okay. That's fake. <laughs> World War III? Oh, yeah. What's that? Is that, is that the Jews versus the Ruskies? Oh, okay. The Ruskies. You know what this Jews? World War III bullshit's about? Fuck. It's all the conspiracy theorists getting paid by the government so we can buy up all the shit and keep inflation going. See, I feel like I have Islamophobia because I'm pretty scared of them terrorists. Dude, right? I mean... Yeah, you gotta be scared of shit. They're our best friends. Hell no, We're dude. all in cahoots. They throw rocks at people. I think they're all in cahoots for, dude, for sure. Dude, I remember being but, a little kid and we'd be playing Dirt Clawed Wars and then somebody pick up a rock, dude. I ain't yeah, even yeah some dude hit me inside the head with a rock. I ain't saying that. I'm just dude. saying, like, you, you, whole guys, you guys religion remember? Religion based on throwing rocks at people. Dude, I'm just saying, like, societal collapse can happen anytime. Yeah, obviously. It's just like, I, I ain't saying the power game. Well, of course. If you look at all the great. What do you call them? All the great empires. empires yeah, they've empires. all fallen. Yeah. They all, nothing lasts forever. It, it just Look seems at like Russia. This fucking country will. Tom, how would you s- settle the forever. fuck down, dude? It's it will. will. What do, you think, do you think? Do you, do you think it'll happen in our lifetime? Do you do you think it'll happen in our in our lifetime or no? No, I think I've, that when that we're to a point in civilization that when America falls, the civilized world. Falls and we just go back to it and like an ice age see, or something. You know what I mean? Okay. I didn't realize that I was with a bunch I, of fucking traitors right now. I'm just saying, if America falls, that then civilization as a whole falls. I don't think. I, I think it would have to be something so bad. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying America's heading towards like, oh, we're gonna be the top of the. But I don't think there's ever gonna be a yes, point we will, where we're Clint, why don't you the USSA the fuck down? or some bullshit. You know? No, no. So for the USA to fall that drastically, something. Drastic will have to happen. I don't think it's gonna fall that bad. Like the flood, but the Venezuela? election coming this year, maybe. No, but the U.S. The, yeah, Hitler, the Bible. So no, no, that flood's the election. <laughs> we built, dude, the United States is already dams, dude. The, the USA has already declined. Uh, Look at the economy. Look at how much debt we're in. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, you know about the economy or debt, yeah but dude. debt is good because <laughs> overall, <laughs> I don't have a, I have a general idea. <laughs> Listen, have you right? I don't know shit. I don't either. I don't uh, this is this is something we were talking about. Me and Matt were talking about earlier. Um, so it's like the mob, all right? You don't want to be in debt to the mob, right? But we are. But if you have nuclear fucking bombs, the mob can suck your dick, right? Yeah, but the mob has yeah. their oh, version those are of Chinese. nuclear bombs. Who cares? Yeah. We're not going to know anything until it happens. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. It's like, we it's are, like that. We are whatever it happens, it's going to happen, and then it'll be like, allegedly. Oh. But I was asking, flag. Do you think it'll be in your lifetime? I feel like it is. I no, I don't think it'll be in our yeah. lifetime. It'll be in my children's lifetime. Maybe. See, I feel like that's what everybody who's ever lived on the planet has yeah, ever thought. Too, yeah. Is that, oh, the world's about to end, everybody. You know, repent or fucking, you know, whatever. You know, yeah. S- stock up your arms, all that shit. Well, I, I think, I think so too, Clint. I, I think like so was, too. Yeah. But I think, I, I think that a lot of people have thought similarly we're like uh exactly. you know like we're like we're at a point where fucking tired the, anything could happen but at the same time this is the easiest it's ever been for the world to you know quote unquote end yeah. right but, what, but in what so, way but so and in that of we how divided have, like, we are nuclear fucking weapons right we have atomic nukes weapons. how divided we but are but at like the same time ending all of all of potential life on the exactly yeah, like but life. at the same time you yeah. look at it in that way and that makes it the less way. likely 
but in my we, opinion. But don't we like we don't the world even to end. use nuclear warheads on our bombs anymore because they go so fast and I cause so know. much destruction? I, I, what I, I don't, don't actually know. need the, way the nuclear I warhead anymore to use hydrogen bombs. Is the sun exploding? Well, that's going to happen. Yeah, we're going to be dead instantly. Yeah, yeah that's, that's when the whole world that's, will fall. That's the whole Elon Musk thing. It's, well, it's, it's not that we, America, need, to, we need to go to well, another planet. The world, so we need yeah, to leave our solar system. Yeah. I don't think the world will end yeah, on not our... Let's over each other. Yeah. It's not going to end on right. our own doing. <laughs> no. Yeah, it would probably be Russia. Because you really China. think the power, the highest powers of the world are going to sacrifice all the money, all the comfort they're experiencing now? To start a war and end everything they've built. Who do you think runs the world? I think the CIA Obviously, does. Obviously, they don't give a shit. They, they will give a shit when it destroys everything they have, when money becomes obsolete. Nah, and they're dude. part of the regular Listen, people. From the fucking... From the, uh, well, that could be all part of the From planet. the shore to the mountains or whatever. You know what I'm saying? To the sea to the... Yeah, whatever. So to the shining sea or whatever. Yeah, yeah. from the... It's always going to the shining sea plan. No. Like if something happens, see the signing sheet. Mountain majesty, sweet land it's of from sea to land. signing sheet. That was uh, I don't know. It's something about like that guy that was disputing the moon landings was talking about all the Apollo missions were fake and that they. Uh, they made a movie about it though. They, I saw it. They killed. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Number three. Everything like all the Apollo missions that got blown up or. Hoaxed by the CIA and all this shit. They're hoaxed by the CIA? Oh, no, yeah. no. Okay. Well, this motherfucker. Challenger, bro. Yeah, Challenger. Challenger. You got Tom riled up again. He's the about CIA to call that, everything. <laughs> no, I was trying to. I, te- I texted that motherfucker. I was like, you wait, because I wanted his input on some of the, you know, the radioactivity you're ta- you were speaking yeah. on earlier. Yes. I don't know. Can, we bring father, in a re- can we bring your dad as a real scientist? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Well, he's not a scientist, but he is a suit engineer. Oh, so he's a fucking, you, he's a spook, dude. Brandon? He's a goddamn <laughs> CIA I'm sure spook. I'm sure he joined, yeah. He killed Kennedy, didn't he, dude? No. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Where, where's Alpha's body? Can you promise that if we get Tom's dad here, you will try not to be as funny as you usually are? No. I'm not funny. Nobody thinks I'm funny except my wife. Hold on. Uh, look at <laughs> you your pants. Five. Is that five? <laughs> well, yeah, I thought you had more stuff to talk about. All right, well we're over an hour, but uh, welcome, welcome back to the Turcos cast, dude. This is all the boys, from oh, boy. Mikey to Matt to Tom, Kanye twenty twenty four boy to myself. We all want to thank you for uh, coming along for the ride. Sorry it took us so long to get this one out. We're gonna be a bonus episode this week, um, but beyond that, um, probably w- the podcast is probably dead because Xander moved like twenty minutes away and he's being a little bitch about it. Shit. Everything. Pussy. We had, a, we had a trick Sandra, I don't want to be that guy. Doing the midnight cast. Tonight. And usually when people say, I don't want to be that guy, they're that guy, right? But yeah. I don't want to be that guy. Okay? I don't want to be me. But other people are saying, and I haven't been that person, but other people, I feel like I owe this to you. Other people are been saying a lot of things about you moving away and uh, <laughs> mostly supportive things, but the people in this room. Specifically, <laughs> I don't even know where your house is. Specifically, what? Quit being a bitch. They think that you uh, all of a sudden move far away and pretend like some of us don't already live far away. Yeah, and can't show up. Exactly, dude. <laughs> but that's that's not what so I'm maybe saying. Maybe stop doing that. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck, fuck just Mikey was trying to say. All right. Thank no, you guys for being around. Uh, <laughs> that's literally not that far. This is the boys. We're going to drink some more beers. Bye.